I got a little bit of leftover macaroni. Instead of baking that back up, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try something new. I'm gonna try a little bit of fried macaroni ball. Fried macaroni and cheese. I've never done this before. You'll be the first one to do it with me here. Let's try this out. Fried macaroni and cheese. First, let's make some beer batter. Add half a beer. Drink the other half. Add a couple of eggs. Add one cup of flour, quarter cup of parmesan, half a teaspoon baking powder, half a teaspoon sea salt. Let's just add a little bit of olive oil. Whisk it up. Mix it up nice and good. Beer batter, done. Easy. Beer batter, easy. Something you always see in restaurants. Beer, ba beer batter fried fish fried fish fried chips. Beer battered, beer battered fish. Beer, beer battered. Have that. You know how easy it is? Beer batter, done. Beer batter. Let's grab our mac and cheese mixture cold out of the refrigerator. That way it's not going to separate once it hits the frying pan. Make sure it's cold. Now, let's check the temperature of our oil. 450 degrees. Let's go ahead and fry this up. Now, We got our beer batter mixture ready to go. Boom. Let's do this. Form a little golf ball. Throw it into the flour. Little golf ball size. Mac and cheese. I've never tried this before. This is a first timer. I was just thinking, how about fried mac and cheese? So I said to myself, let's just try it and see what happens. Here we are, fried mac and cheese. Let's see what happens. the mac and cheese coated in flour. Let's go ahead and dump it into the beer batter. Just give it a good coating. Get the excess beer batter off. And drop it in the oil. Beer battered fried macaroni and cheese. Please. 